Hey everyone, it's David from Form, and in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at a function that allows you to easily extract the neutral axis or the center line of a pipe in VX model. Now, reverse engineering of a pipe can be time consuming, especially if there are numerous sections with multiple angles, for example. So using the pipe center line function of VX model can definitely help you in this process. Let's see how this works. Now for my example, I'm going to use this pretty cool scan of a motorcycle and we're going to focus on the exhaust system. Now I'm going to launch the tool that is in the toolbox under the Entities section. Uh, and the way it works is pretty straightforward. You only need to select the section of the pipe that you want to have the center line and then the rest will be done pretty much automatically. Let's start with, let's say, this section right here. So I'm just going to select this section. I'll uh, use the sudden change selection tool. Uh, I'm going to adjust the curve tension all the way down to one. And I'm going to hit the preview. And just like that, you see in yellow, you have the pipe center line that has been computed. So I'm going to hit create. I'm going to use the other section now. Again, sudden change, control on the keyboard to do the selection. Preview, you have the center line in yellow create button and then for the last section again I'm going to select these three uh, maybe increase the selection a little bit and then I'm going to launch the preview now this is a good example where I probably want to change my curve tension because you can see that because it's as low as at, at, at the lowest point basically you have a lot of sensibility so I'm going to crank it up to let's say 75 I'm going to hit the preview button once again now this looks much better, but uh, what I want you to focus on is since this section where the two uh, exhaust combines into one, it's not a pipe per se, it's not a cylinder, it's really two pipe that uh, are becoming one. So I would suggest in a situation like this, just to unselect this area, just like that, we're going to hit the preview again to have, let's say, a better output that is only for the, the last section that is straight. And then afterward, it's it's going to be easy to just take the three line and then design this uh, design or reverse engineering this section here. So I'm going to use the uh, create all the way there as well. Now, one thing we haven't discussed yet is all the different parameters in the left panel. And to show you what they do, I'm just going to select a different mesh. Uh, we're going to choose, let's say, this one. Uh, which is a very generic pipe looking thing to be honest with you. I don't really know what it is, but it's not important uh, So I'm gonna go uh, select the pipe center line icon I'm gonna select my whole mesh this time and I'm gonna hit the preview button and as you can see the result is not what is expected uh, to fix that basically we're gonna use the use guiding curve in the left panel so I'm gonna check this box and this tool will allow me to create a curve very approximately on my mesh to guide the creation of the center line. So I'm going to select a few points, create a curve very approximately like that. And then I can hit the preview button and I will have my final result that is a lot better. So that is for the used guiding curve. After that, we have the display color map. Uh, that will display a color map uh, based on a average diameter that is right below so you can always change it if you know the exact diameter of your pipe you can write it down uh, from there and uh, recheck the color map if need be and that's pretty much all there is so you get the guiding curve that is super useful you can display the color map change the diameter and of course you get the output type depending on your preference so that pretty much wraps things up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can drop us a like. You can subscribe to the Careform channel so you don't miss any cool stuff about 3D scanning. Once again, my name is David, and I will see you in the next one.